Hi, I'm Don Bodan from SampleLibraryReview.com. Today we're going to be checking out Orange Tree Sample's new Evolution Bluegrass Banjo. For those of us fans of Orange Tree Sample's Evolution Engine, it's so exciting to see a brand new instrument. This time, probably the most flexible, deepest sampled banjo that's out there. Evolution Bluegrass Banjo downloads is 2.2 gigabytes. That's compressed down from 5.1. It's a banjo sampled at 24 bit. It's got three dynamic layers with four round robins, and it does include some alternative finger picks. The library's housed inside Orange Tree Sample's famous Evolution Engine, and you've got a slew of articulations, sustains, mutes, natural harmonics, and special effects like string slaps, thumb picks, brushing, tapping the head of the banjo, and more. There's legato samples for slides, hammer-ons, and pull-offs, and the strum pattern editor with a bunch of presets to help you deliver some very authentic banjo strumming rolls. There's adjustable pick position using the physical modeling technology and some MIDI articulation for upward, downward grace notes, buzz trills, whole step slides, hammer-ons that can be tr controlled by velocity or tempo sync. Evolution Bluegrass Banjo is a contact player instrument compatible with both the full and free versions of Contact, and it normally sells for $179. Bucks. You can grab it now for $139 during the special... All right, I've got Evolution Blue Gas Banjo pulled up. You can see it's a contact player instrument. It's got one NKI, loads right in the libraries tab. It loads up here with a very familiar Evolution interface, which if you've been using any of Orange Tree Sample's instruments, you would know it well. I'll go over the panels and kind of give you a quick summary in a moment. First, let's go ahead and jump in and listen to some of the presets in action with some of the demo MIDI that's available for anybody that purchases the library. Yeah, it sounded pretty good. This is a, a preset called Backwoods. I'm going to go to Old Timey because this has kind of got that... Uh, Old timey kind of sound to me. Let's check it, take a listen to this one. Yeah, that one's pretty cool. I think they're probably using um, some effects here, a little bit of distortion and uh, maybe a slapback or a reverb of some kind. Let's listen to uh, Swamp Thing. Yeah, that one's pretty good too. It's uh, a little, a little bit uh, darker tone for that one for sure. Got the next set of MIDI here called Blackberry Blossom. Again, this MIDI is included with the instrument, um, and this is a great way for you to get a feel for how efficiently you can program the instrument in this way. Yeah, that's a pretty, that's a, a, a tune. I've heard that one before. I'm sure it's from uh, the South. That's where the banjo got famous. Although I think it's a European instrument, isn't it? Correct me if I'm wrong. Let's check out another one here. Yeah, that one's a nice bright sound to it. Getting picky. That one's very nice. I think I like the resonance in that, and there's just a little bit of uh, hall sound to it. Yeah, very nice. All right, this next preset, let's go ahead with um, Green Bliss. This one's neat to see the dynamic range change. Oh, 
I'm going to stop right there. Now, I, I think the developer did release three dynamic layers, uh, but I'm hearing a lot of range here, and I think you can get away with an instrument like this with three dynamic layers um, and get it, obviously, to sound realistic. I know some people go nuts about 15 layers for pianos or 40 layers. <laughs> Now this one's kind of cool. This is called Under the Stars, and there's a harmonic articulation that's triggered when your velocities are over 50. Uh, also, there's a lot of verb in this, but it's giving it a whole, really, it's giving it a, a much more sound design sound. Now, so this is all harmonics for this articulation and this preset, uh, and I think it's got a great sound. It almost sounds like a um, an auto harp or a, a dulcimer in some ways. This is unrealistic that you could actually play a banjo with all harmonics this fast, uh, as far as I know, but this is just a lovely sound. I think this is something I could use for scoring, definitely. Yeah, it's getting crazy there. And I'm just going to play it with no preset, just so you could hear the way the instrument would naturally sound. Let's stop it right there. I'm really loving the diversity. Um, I think this is living up to what I was expecting here, which is the ability to have so many radically different kinds of sounding banjo sounds, not just uh, by the by using the pick modeling and morphing, but also with the effects and the sound design to it. All right, let's jump in a little bit and talk about the interface really quickly. If you're not familiar with Orange Tree Samples um, interface, they've got the uh, play, which is what it loads up with. And this is a way for you to quickly map your articulations. And this is pretty cool because you can actually do all kinds of mapping. Velocity, key switching, latching key switching, sustain pedal, and then your controller information too. So for instance, right now we've got sustains here. with automatic hammer-ons and pull-offs. But if I was gonna go ahead and just uh, unmap that, we've heard the harmonics. I'll make this one. We also have the ability to do grace notes, so we can make it so we're just gonna hit our grace note uh, when we really hammer on the dynamics here. So, probably be more realistic with this here and this one off. So something like this. So you can see it's triggering those grace notes there when we're hitting a hard velocity. Uh, there's also some very interesting articulations buzz trills there's whole step slide ins velocity slide in quarter notes dependent on tempo that you're playing 
because it said their velocity or tempo mapped. And then let's go ahead and turn this off. And you got the ability to just do octave instantly. Now let's go ahead and just uh, pick one of these presets. This is a nice full sound. Not a lot of verb to it. And we could check out some of the ways they've got these set up. I'm going to go ahead and turn automatic chords on. And then this way I could just play, play my green key, which is right. There we go. So now I'm automatically going to be detecting a key with the engine. Now these are all programmable, so we're going to be able to change what we're doing, what we're picking, how we're hitting the notes. There's quite a bit of uh, programming available in the uh, strum engine here. And you can hear there's even some really cool stuff going on, like with this mute. You can see which strings we're actually muting over. We're muting over the top high uh, three strings. So you can hear that raking back up. These are all tempo synced. So this is a really quick, easy way to, to create some strumming, some realistic patterns, and especially because I don't play banjo, I don't know how much time I would need to spend to learn what banjo rolls would be properly done. So that's a pretty standard roll, it looks like, if we increase the tempo. Get a pretty cool sound. Now, they've also got the uh, tone page, and this will give us the ability to turn on distortion boxes. Which I'm not sure exactly why you would do that, but you might need it to do that. You use tremolo as well. If you have a volume pedal, you can control it there. They've got wah, verb, EQ, course flange, and then cabinets, verbs, and then uh, amplifiers as well. The setup, I think I mentioned a little bit about the... Uh, let's just jump to a clean preset so I don't hear a bunch of that noise I was making. There we go. So now we've got a little bit of verb and... The setup is going to give us some changes. We're going to be able to go from a mono width to a stereo. We can go from the standard signal to an enhanced signal. And I, I don't know if I could really hear it because there's so much going on with this preset. And then the other thing that's cool about the way the Evolution Engine is, you could do a uh, single track, quad track, double track. And it's going to use the nearest neighbors and triggering and pan them uh, to give us. And then you're able to adjust how much humanization, how much randomness, how much difference between the left and right uh, two different players you have going on. You've got... Uh, pick modeling here so we can go from a neck pick 
to a middle pick. Bridge pick. Now you probably wouldn't be like shifting it around a whole lot. It's more about finding the right sound for the purpose of your composition or your track. And there's also some way to, you can turn on capos, you can do your drone capo, you can change your tuning, which is kind of cool. So that is a basic uh, quick summary of the Evolution Engine with the Evolution Bluegrass Banjo loaded up in it. I'm a big fan of Evolution Engine. I've probably been swooing over this instrument because I think it's one of those things where if you're gonna need a banjo for scoring, uh, you're gonna need a banjo for something specific, I personally would want it to be able to do all kinds of things for me. Otherwise it's, you know, there's so many bad banjos out there with, um, you hear the, the machine gun effect because the round robins don't sound right. You don't have any flexibility in your timbre and tone where this has tons of that because of the nature of high quality sampling and the engine itself. Big fan of it, but that's just my thoughts. What do you think about Evolution Bluegrass Banjo? Have you ever wanted a super great banjo instrument library for contact? Comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for spending a little time with me here today. Uh, if you're not already, please subscribe to the channel. And head back around on Fridays for our weekly deal compressor show where we recap, recap the latest news and deals that made our radar for the week.